My name is Drew Fitzgerald, and I'm the Client Services Intern at the Yellowhead Regional Library. I want to introduce you to our Mini Circuitry Makerspace Kit. This is how the kit will come to you. On the top of the lid, there is a pocket that will have your checkout receipt with the kit's due date. The first thing you're going to find in the kit is the Get Started Guide. This has packing instructions, resources, and program plans to help you with the kit. All of this information can also be found on the kit's Google Drive, which you get access to when you receive the kit. You will also find the kit return checklist and survey. The return checklist is for your use, but the survey is expected to be filled out before you return the kit. If you prefer, there is also an online version. Next, you will find the Squishy Circuits Deluxe Set. Inside, there are seven containers of colored conductive dough and one container of white insulating dough. The conductive dough has a consistency similar to Play-Doh, while the insulating dough is more like modeling clay. In addition to the dough, you will also find the Quick Start Guide and a kit of electronic components and accessories. In this zippered case, there is also a set of five sculpting tools with a plastic storage tube and a deluxe battery pack with both an on-off switch and a sliding pulse switch that's powered by four AA batteries. There are also red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and white LEDs, as well as color-changing LEDs. You will also find a separate on-off switch, a piezoelectric buzzer, a mechanical buzzer, and a motor with a fan. Every electrical component has completely sealed off wires, so everything is attached by sticking the terminals into the conductive dough, making it super safe for kids to play with. Next is the paper circuitry set. In this set, you will find conductive copper tape, 3 volt lithium batteries, and LED lights. Libraries are not required to replenish these consumable materials, but they are required to return any remaining supplies with the set. In the kit, there is also a little coder game. This game is meant for children ages 4 to 8, but the game could be modified for almost any age. A child chooses one of the larger mission cards from the stack and then uses the smaller action cards to create an algorithm another child or parent can follow to complete the mission. The largest part of this kit is the Little Bit Steam Student Set. This set comes with an adventure's guide that explains the components of the set and gives sample projects and challenges, as well as a tackle box full of Little Bits components. Little Bits are super easy and safe to use. Each bit is its own enclosed circuit board that connects to the other bits through magnets. Though each bit is labeled with arrows that show how to connect it, the polarity of the magnets also ensure you can't ever connect anything that isn't supposed to be. The types of bits are also labeled by color. The blue bits are power bits and let you connect your circuit to either a 9 volt battery or a micro USB cable. The orange bits are connector bits that let you have more leeway in putting your circuit together. The pink bits are input bits and let your actions or the environment affect what your circuit does. The green bits are output bits and do something based on the rest of your circuit. Each bit also has little feet that can connect to the accessories such as mounting boards so you can do more with your circuits. Once you know what each bit does, you can easily put them together to make a circuit of your own. These are all of the bits and accessories that come in this kit. There are two wire bits to make your circuits flexible, an inverter to reverse the signal of your circuit, and a fork so you can connect to three different bits at once. There is also a light sensor, a dimmer switch, a button, a temperature sensor, and a pulse to turn bits on and off rhythmically. Then there are two included power bits, one for battery power and one with a micro USB port. There is a 9 volt battery and a connector cord included for the battery bit. For your outputs, you have a number display bit, an adjustable red, green, blue LED, a buzzer, a long corded LED, a servo that can swing back and forth, and two direct current motors that can turn in either direction. You will also find a wall charger and a micro USB power cord to connect to your bits, a fan, two wheels, and two mounting boards. 
That's all for the Mini Circuitry Makerspace Kit. For more information, you can explore our YouTube channel for details on the different resources in the kit, and you can contact kits at yrl.ab.ca when you are ready to book it for your library. Good luck, and happy programming!